real good. Finally got completed the mission, completed the objective. And shit, I'm, I'm fucking living right now. I'm glad that shit happened. No 14, a very dope night last night. I got to be honest, it was a very dope night last night. Um, I thought the first couple of battles was kind of shaky. And then as the battles got going with Swamp and Hansu, you Rock, um, Fonz and Geechee leading up to Lux and Nitty, I was like, okay, it's a go. You know what I mean? Um, talk to me, man. No, brother. No 14, Jerry West, Tay Rock, you battling one of the GOATs, one of the Mount Rushmore's. In my, in my Mount Rushmore, Tay Rock and everything like that. How do you feel about the battle okay. overall? Most definitely. I think the battle, me, honestly, I feel like uh, I got the battle first and third. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even going uh, uh, to. I feel like I got it first and third. I got the okay. first round. And third. I feel like I got the first round clear, the third. The second, especially when he pulled off pulled off that move, yes. one of our special moves, that was amazing. Uh, that was amazing. That, oh, shocked, I, that I, shocked you, though? He went in that bag and uh, that shocked you? It did. It did, but I couldn't. You know what I mean? I tried to, uh, Crazy. Love it. That was amazing. Amazing. Uh, uh -huh. So, um, but then the third, I just had just more bars. I just had more bars in the third round. I had okay. more bars and broke it down. But I think, I think honestly, it was just an amazing back and forth. I had to fight through that crowd, though. That crowd was a little, you know. Okay, stay with me there. Do you feel you had to fight in that crowd in the third or overall the whole, the whole battle itself? Um, I feel like kind of overall. I feel like I, I feel like overall almost. I think when it got down to the third and being at the battle was later, they either kind of got more, more, a little more restless. Okay. But what a lot of people don't know is in the building, it was like a, a church next door and it was like a lot of banging going on. I heard about that. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. It was, it was, it was but you know. We had to fight through that and make it work, but um, overall, still a crazy classic battle. I think you know, uh, realistically and technically, I feel like the battle's a classic. Like I wouldn't be mad at people calling it either way, you know what I'm saying? But that's how that's just my opinion. That's how talk I feel. To me, talk to me about fighting through your your, your battling Tay Rock, right? right? And you have to fight Tay Rock, and you're fighting something going across the building, though. How much? How much? As me as a blogger, us as fans, we don't understand. When you guys gotta go through shit like that and still fight through little shit like that, it might not be little, but it's still something there that you gotta fight through to get to be heard. I guess voice projection and all that does that play a big part? That plays a huge part. And mind you, I don't I don't smoke or drink. Never had okay. so going late too makes it even tougher for me because now all the smoke in the building is in my system, so I can't really project. Mm. I want to project, and I feel like I gotta over project because if I say it too low, my voice gonna sound crazy. So you know, it's a lot of things. That we gotta fight through, and you know they're not gonna care <laughs> what's gonna happen. You better give us the bars, and you better rap it, and you better whatever happened happen. So yeah, there's always a lot of shit that we gotta fight through. But I want to say I fought through everything, okay. <laughs> I fought through everything, and still made it happen, and, and still danced with one of the greatest in the game. Yes. Um, his first round. What did you think about Rock's first round? I, you know, I like first, Rock's first round because a lot of people do kind of the same. Jerry flips. I'm used to the Jerry Springer, Jerry Maguire. I think the way he did it was very unique. I like the way he did it as far as comparing me to the and the way he did it. Because okay. Chiller did a similar one, but he did it differently. So I, I like I like Rock's first round. It was very tactical. Only thing he said that I can push back to Rock is he said Jerry West got five rings. Jerry, I'm a basketball. He, Jerry West only got one ring. Mm. Talk about Respect me. I, I, I got, I'm a basketball head. I'm an old head, so I watch basketball. Jerry West got one ring. All the points. They give me all the points. Yeah. Yeah. Why but, not? Nigga? Come on. And his, and his why I gave you the first round, right? I thought your, your, the Kobe playing line, the Laker, Laker Kobe line, I respectfully, I don't think in Rock's first round, he had a better line than that particular line, in my opinion. Right. You feel me? Right. I did like that line a lot. And the day one line, I liked a lot also. You feel me? And the fake jewelry middle of that line also, and can't shoot, the, can't shoot the rock anymore. Clay Thompson. I thought people stuck on that line a little bit though, because if you watch basketball, Clay had been falling off a little bit though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm the jump ain't been wet. And the Michael Jackson. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I just thought that the um, the Laker line did it for me in the first in the first round for me. In the second round, I got Rock taking the second round. I had a one one going to the second. How you feel? Respectfully, hey, respectfully. You know what I'm saying? And then you know Rock is is, is dangerous. His most dangerous rounds is always the second round. Right, right. Always. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I feel like when Rock prepares, whatever's his greatest round, he makes sure it's in the middle. I think he don't write it as a second. He just go through his rounds and go, oh, this is the craziest one. This is going in the middle. Which is smart. 
Right. Very smart technical thing to do. And even you tapped into your wrestling bag in the second round. That's before I get a ring, Triple H line. I like that a lot and everything. You know what I mean? Title, the, the title in the bank, all that. Money in the bank, all that. Yeah. Yeah. Be honest, Jerry. It comes out to the third round, though. Can we say that? In this yeah. It, it does come down to the third, and that's what makes it debatable. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It makes it debatable. So that third round, to me, is strictly preference. You know what I mean? It's strictly preference. I feel like uh, the third round, he was definitely being rocked. Um... It was, uh, I just feel like I had a little bit more. Like, I'm talking about, like, I was just doing more more things. You know what I'm saying? Rock was just in his, he was just focused doing the rock and doing one, just going straight through, rapping. And I just feel like I had a little, I just felt like I had a little more. I gotta be, I gotta be honest. His JW flips was, was fire, though. Know? I did like that man's JW flips. And oh, yeah. That was so crazy. That was fire. I gotta be honest, Jerry. That's was, what made me edge him a little bit in the third. It's debatable to me, but when he that JW shit he did was fucking dope, my nigga. I was gonna do something like that too. Really? I don't know why I changed my mind. He wound up doing it. I was gonna oh, man. I'm similar to that idea, but yeah. I was gonna do DR because it's Dante Richard. I was gonna do something like that, but I was like, mm. yeah. but he did it. So that's that's crazy that he wound up doing that. Right. Well, a battle like Tay Rock, though, be honest, you feel with. To beat Tay Rock, clearly, right? Do you think you have to overwin? Show off, he says, I got to overwin in his battles and shit, though. Is yeah, it's some people when your brand is so big, you have to you have to overwin. Mm. Because anything else is just, you're just not going to. First of all, when you have, when you're talented like that, right. and you actually are consistent, and you have that big of a fan base, you really will have to fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You really will have to do real yeah. bad. Man, people can't be beat, but when you are just consistent and you give people three rounds and it's worth watching, even if it's regular, that fan base alone will make them go. It's going to be too many people saying it. Right. You know? So I feel like the reason why I know I accomplished my mission, accomplished my goal, is the fact that he has a way bigger fan base, but I'm still getting these amount of people still saying 2-1, I want. You know what I'm saying? So that alone says a lot. Because you're gonna have people that's gonna just be diehard fans, period. Not taking nothing away from rock, but that still shows that I completed the mission. So I, when you, say say with me to completing the mission, is completing the mission more like cuts off. elaborate for me, elaborate a little more for me when you say completing the mission. Is it elaborate a little bit more for that? So for me, completing the mission was for me, it wasn't even just more so about becoming top tier, it's now being officially one of them dudes now. Okay. So DNA, it, it catapulted me officially into top tier status, but now to really be at the table, to be in the URL house, you got to go against and be able to withstand one of the greatest in the game, to actually be up there and solidify. My, my spot is officially solidified. Okay. I'm officially, like, so now it's like it's to the point where now when I go into these next battles, it's more now I have the respect. So it all flows and it comes together. And now it's like we see everything for what it is. So I finally was able to make it fully past where I needed to go and where I needed to be at. You didn't feel like that after DNA? No, I definitely felt like that after DNA. But for me personally, I okay. felt like because that's the first um, vet that I faced on a main stage, right. I felt like I had to do that at least one more time. Face another vet on a main stage okay. to yeah. have it under my belt. They say hindsight is twenty twenty, right? Do you feel like you should have had a, a battle before Tay Rock? Uh, would, you, would, would you have like a battle before Tay Rock? I did question. have a battle before Tay Rock. Oh, though. you did though. You're in England, right? London, 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 part of me, right, right, right. Yeah, but um, I'm not that kind of battler where if I sit down too long, I get rusty. I'm actually right. the opposite. If I sit down okay. too long, I get mm -hmm. crazy. So, right. nah. Mm -hmm. I mean, for some battlers, yeah, but for no, nah. for me, it's either. I'm getting impatient or I get angry. And that motivates me to step it up to another level. Was that a small room or medium room? Or what, what do you consider the room? I would say medium. Okay. It's like a medium. Like Because medium. Medium. Okay. Um, well, how many people was in there? I want to say about... Yeah, how much do you think it was in there? Good question. Well, you got you asked the question yourself. I want to say about 150 people. Okay, that's just... Okay, that's just medium. Small. We have to say it's small, right? Oh, wait, what's what's say? What's considered small in battle rap? Under 50, 50, and under? Is that what? A small room to me, personally, is, is under 100. Under 100, okay. Like okay. Under 100. Gotta, uh, but, yeah. 
under 100. Between 50 and 100 is like a small room. Anything under under 50 is like a, a low league. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, because um, that's to me that was a volume setting. A volume setting, okay. That was like a smack volume kind of crowd, kind of crowd setting. Like like COVID first opening back up, like first getting over COVID setting, like that. You know, do you want to clear this up? Because I don't rock was talking about fake fronts and all that. We're not doing that. Why? <laughs> Shout out to Underground Grills, man. Nah, 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 man. You know what it is too. Uh, um, um, it's like you know we battle and um, you gotta always prepare for what can possibly come your way. Right, right. So I think that was a dope angle because it's like you know I'm niggas always saying. He got fake jewelry, so it's like he probably. I'm tired of niggas saying I got shit, so I'm battling a nigga that got front. I'm about to go, you know what I'm saying? So it's like it's just defense, perfect defense, playing perfect mm -hmm. defense. Wow. And I think grills is probably the worst fake thing to put in your mouth. Like, yo, my, I'd have been toe up, I'd have been in a dentist, I'd have been in. Uh, it wouldn't have, I would, I had these things in my mouth so goddamn long, I'd have been toe up by now. Wow. The, the, the training talk is that dicey though, because sometimes people in the culture, I saw obviously. You're not seeing the timeline, right? But I'm watching the timeline. Oh, Jerry, while we do a training talk, y'all be going to the rock. Is that is that dicey when you go in that bag? Um, so this, or, this, or, this, or you have to make sure it has to hit hard when you tap right. into so that. Me, me personally, right? I don't do personals, right? Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. I take an angle, it's something that's our already public knowledge or it's been done, and I just try to figure out a way to do it better than someone else did it. Like, right. I'm not the type of person where I got to go find some information that possibly nobody knows. And I feel like that's kind of like, uh, it's making me feel like the person is so much more better than me that I had to go to a superb low to go mm -hmm. figure out a way to discredit you. So now, whatever you do, you can't beat me with that. Mm -hmm. Now, I did that because um, I just had a fire idea for it. Mm -hmm. But I had to build around it to make it make sense. To make the bar hit, I had the Michael Jackson bar. Like she looked like a he. she. she, she, she. <laughs> but how can I get to that bar to make it make sense? So okay. I had to just throw up around it. So you know, this is this a bar. I feel like it's a huge difference between touching on something that you know people done made jokes. Because clearly, clearly, I don't believe that shit. I, mm -hmm. I, you know what I'm saying. But I just think it's right. a funny bar. You know what I'm saying? Fake joke. You know, it's so many angles. You know what I'm saying? Like. Mm -hmm. Just make a bar out of it. Just attack people. And people always say the lies is better than the truth, more entertaining than the truth. So anything that it takes to win, because people will do anything it takes to win. Fake angles, whatever the hell they want to do. And sometimes even the shit that is true, it's just, you got it got to hit. It just mm -hmm. have to hit. I'm that kind of person. I'm not going to say nothing unless it's not worth saying the bar. Like the bar has to hit, has to be creative, has to make sense. Other than that, man, I'm going to... Listen, how many times niggas battle rappers say I'm going kill you and niggas right. come to the next battle alive. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? So it's for en entertainment purposes, man. It's not, you know, you could you could tell the difference between when a person truly intentionally don't like a person, you know what I'm saying? And then for the sport. Right. It's boxers who's literally physically contact and then we pound it up after good fight. You know what I'm saying? So because yeah. if we wanted to kill you, we'll take the gloves off or choke you or knee you or bite you. You know what I'm saying? So it depends on how you fight. And that's just what it is. You're not gonna take a long hiatus off, are you? No, I'm trying to get. Are you on, sure? Are you sure, sir? Are you sure? I'm trying to get on, no, and I'm gonna start doing way more promo. I'm actually gonna do uh something else in two days, like some okay. other promo I'm gonna throw out there. But yeah, no, nah. I got a battle. I got a battle on the 29th. Uh, okay. I'm trying to Kings and Queens. I'm trying to definitely get on some of madness. Um, it could be clips, twerk, sick. It could be anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying you to get sick. on. I like you sick though. I like you sick. I like you yeah. twerk also. Crazy. Yeah. I feel like twerk is probably gonna be my like not even taking none, nothing away from myself, but I think that's gonna be like my final test. Twerk? Yeah. But you've been getting tests though. Listen, let's be, since glue easy, you don't think you've been getting yeah. tests? Though? No, but I mean for me personally to be able to break down there's battlers out there that they have so much of you got either the ones with the strong fan base, and you got ones with the, just the easy room control, can just control the crowd, can just do whatever you say. I want to make my mark in battle rap as being not only the most tactical and the most evasive, but I'm able to get out of anything. Like, I'm, it's, everything is ineffective. Like, you can do that with everybody else, but you can't do it with me. I want to be that kind of battle rapper that whatever you're amazing for, it just don't work when you do it with me. So that's just a personal personal goal or tactic I'm trying to have for myself. Okay. So. Um, 
couple more questions here. Um, Nitty and Lux, man, how did that feel in the building oh to watch God. Nitty and Lux, man? That first of all, that was like a glitch in the matrix for the for the, the, the oh my god, I still can't fathom that it happened for one. Mm. And I love the fact that Lux <laughs> Lux was yo. Like for him to still do his style, dip into our style a little bit, but but it was still him. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And then Nitty is just like I always like. How does he keep doing this? I know that's I know that's your EFB brother, but I had Lux to one. Respectfully, hey, respectfully. I had Lux to one. Nitty got that first round. Nitty got that first round to me, and I got Lux two and three. Okay, respectfully, but I but feel both like of, listen, both of them were going crazy though. And, and you know the, the cliche, the culture one, the culture one. To be honest, yeah, the culture definitely won. The culture definitely won. I mean, I, I got, I got nitty two one, but okay. Um, okay. that's a battle you gotta watch. Yes, yes, you have to watch again and again. Multiple two, times. three, five times. <laughs> I honestly feel like the battle's debatable. Okay. Debatable. Because okay. I say debatable in the sense that the um fans of both generations got what they want. Okay. Everybody got what they want. Everybody got what they want from both battles. They got what they want from both of them. So that, your material, your material against rock or your material against DNA. Which one? Mm -hmm. I say rock. Over DNA? Material wise. Talk to me. I want to explain this one the to me. DNA yeah. performance was better. Okay. But the rock material was better. I'm gonna give you pushback. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna respectfully disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a respectfully disagree. I, your, your son, I'm sorry. Your DNA material, I, I'm sorry, sir. Yes, performance too, but the bars mixed in with the performance is what okay. did it for me on DNA. Like, you feel me? I gotta get that on YouTube. Yeah, that's a fact. That is true. You, you are wrong. There's some battles y'all put on there. I'm like, okay, that's cool. You can throw Jerry DNA on there. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can, though, brother. So um, you say some summer madness is the goal, though, right? Yeah, I'm trying to uh get one of them names on there. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Big stage. I, 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 um, I'm, I I hope by that time, I mean we. Yeah, have it should be, you know you are. Uh, come on, we're not doing small rooms. Yeah, I think they definitely, but especially after after this joint, we yeah, we definitely gonna wanna you know. Can I ask you a question though? Because a lot of times the culture was saying they want the small room, small room, but respectfully, last night I, I felt like. I kind of missed the big room. I, you and Rock, I thought in a big room. I feel, yeah, I feel like for big rooms, for big battles, big rooms. Like I ain't gonna front that battle, and it was meant to be in a big room. Yes, it was. It really was, yeah. man. We even the way we wrote our material was meant for a big room. Because the buzzer beat in my head hit a little harder in a big room, right? It would have went. Oh. <laughs> the Rock buzzer beat my head harder in a big oh, room. It went crazy in the big room, yeah. way crazy. Right. But you know, still completed the mission, got the objective. Absolutely, and man. Absolutely, brother. Jerry, yeah. man, keep going, my brother. You know, we appreciate you taking your time, man. Or you want to the you. Day, man. Love, Love man. Brooklyn, you know the vibes already.